What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another daily Dark Ascension pack opening. Um yeah. As you know, this weekend is the pre-release for Avicen Restored. Unfortunately, I have a bunch, well not really a bunch, I have a really big project due uh, that Monday. And I really don't know if I'm going to have time to finish it. If I decide to go to the pre-release on um, maybe like even just one day. I'm going to do my best to figure stuff out. Um, get things rolling and try and make it to the pre-release. I would really, really love to. Just to get my hands on some of the cards, you know. Um, even do my pre-release videos that's yeah that'd be really great but you know things don't always go as you planned and uh i just don't want you you guys to be expecting a video when i'm not too sure if i'm actually going to be able to deliver on that so um just a heads up just in case things don't work out as i planned so all right let's move on to the pack of the day today we have a torch fiend I think I've gone over this, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. Yeah. And Grave Purge. We've also seen this card, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip that one too. <gasps> All right, we have a Nefalia Sea Kite. I've seen, we've uh, gone past it a couple times when it's been in the the comments, but we haven't seen it as our common card of the day. So I present to you the Nefalia Sea Kite for casting costs. 2-3 flyer with flash so great for blocking um, nice to bring in at the end of turn so that you don't have to worry about summoning sickness uh, things like that but um, it doesn't have a really it doesn't have a, a when it enters the battlefield ability so that it makes it a little bit um, less desirable to play but uh, uh, overall, it's a pretty good card. Fair for its, uh, its casting costs. And uh, check out the flavor text. Keep one eye on the cliff road, or you may fall to your death. Keep one eye on the sky, or you may, <laughs> or death may fall on you. <laughs> wow, well, that's kind of interesting. All right, great flavor. Um, great artwork. I really like the artwork on this one. Um, all around a pretty, pretty all right card. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's amazing because it's I mean it's not up there with all the other overpowered cards but still no uh, it's not bad so all right we're gonna move on to the rest of the commons wild hunger a sightless ghoul it's blind fires of undeath falcon wrath torturer dawn treader elk Ooh, and we've hit uncommons a lot quicker than I thought I would. So, the first uncommon is a Markov Warlord. I think... I think we've gone over this one. Pretty sure we did, so I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Ooh, a very nice uh, uncommon card of the day. Faith, Faith's Shield. It's a one casting cost uh, instant. Target permanent you control gains protection from a color of your choice until end of turn, which is great. Um, who doesn't love having some evasion for, you know, red burn or blue bounce back or black removal or I don't know what else. Green green has some removal, but I mean, you know, things like that. And, and it's target permanent, so it's not just a creature. So that, that makes it so versatile. And on top of that, Fateful Hour, which you don't, you don't want to be aiming for. You do not want to be aiming for Fateful Hour, but if you happen to be in that range of five or less life, um, you and each permanent you control gains protection from color of your choice till end of turn, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so it, j it just covers more targets, uh, and yeah, artwork's pretty cool. It's, uh, you can see protecting himself from a couple of zombie ghoul things. Very nice. Alright, and the final uncommon is a Wake Dancer. Cool. 
Alright, the rare card of the day, all that we've been waiting for is... Ooh, it's a white 2-1. Anyone, can anyone guess what that is? Because I'm... I don't know. <laughs> what is it? Uh, ooh, Thalia. Hello, Thalia. Alright. Thalia, Garden of Thraben, or Thraben. Two casting costs. Legendary creature. Two one first striker. And on top of that, non creature spells cost one more to cast. So great if you're playing White Weenie and you're you don't have to worry about um uh non creature spells like you know, instant sorceries, things like that. Um really slows down your opponent if they're playing any kind of control, any kind of burn. Or, I should just say, anything that that is not a creature, <laughs> which uh, a, lo a lot of a lot of decks run. A lot of decks run. They they don't really leave out the like they don't only put creatures in. I mean, there's a couple decks out there that only use creatures, but um, awesome card, first strike. Put an equipment on this thing, and I put equipment on her, and she's good to go. All right. We have a human token. Got a placeholder. And the double sided card of the day. It's a red 3 2. Is that the, uh. the, uh. Is it the hermit? Or is it the deserter? Whoa, hello. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. It's a Mondrone Shaman, so very nice. Double rare pack. Which is great! 3-2, and there's actually a card behind this, and if I take a peek, it is a shiny card. So, uh, before we take a look at the back of the Mondrone Shaman, which we've already seen before, the double-sided card of the day. Aw, oh, shucks, it's a green enchantment, sorcery, or instant, and it is called... Feed the Pack! Which is a rare! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> triple rare pack you have seen it here triple rare pack that's really nice if only there were mythics but you know I'm not complaining oh man foil rare that is awesome okay real quick um, Mondrone Shaman plain plain old human werewolf shaman um, with the werewolf flip over ability and when she flips over, it's a 5-5 five, five whenever an opponent casts a spell. The Tovalar's Mage Hunter deals 2 damage to that player. So, um, yeah, pretty nice in a, in a werewolf deck. Um, I don't know, I've never really seen it played, but let's take a look at this shiny! Oh my god! Feed the pack. 6 casting cost enchantment. And check out what it does at the beginning of your end step. You may sacrifice a non-token creature. If you do, put X to two green wolf token creatures, or green wolf creature tokens, onto the battlefield where X is the creature's toughness. So, um, imagine if you, well, I haven't seen any ridiculous combos with this, plus it's a six casting cost, so probably not running for, um, probably not expecting the... This, I mean, in the late game, it's it's pretty. I don't know. It's all right. I can't think of anything that makes it amazing, but you know. But it's shiny and it looks so cool. Who cares? Who cares what it does? It's shiny, and we got a three rare, um, triple rare pack. What are the odds of that? That's amazing. Was not expecting that. Holy moly! All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and who would have thought that we would have, we were gonna find three rares in our pack today? So, um, all right. Thanks guys for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.